Hello and welcome to my June and July reseller income report. This is something that I started doing a couple of months ago. I actually only did one because I skipped June because I just didn't have time to get it done. But today I'm going to go over my reselling income from June and July. Um, we have a few things going on that I just want to put a disclaimer out about. New camera, hopefully I can figure this out and everything looks okay. Um, and I have some tea that I'm going to be sipping on while I sit on the computer and go over everything with you because I'm just getting over a cold. And this is the only way I'm going to be able to talk for a long time. So first a little background, um, I was a reseller for a long time. I've actually been technically reselling off and on since like 2004, 2004, 2005. Um, I took a long, long break. 2016, I started reselling again. I ended up going full time for a while and then I stopped for a year during the pandemic when we decided to RV full time. And then now that we're back in the house, I want to start reselling again. So my goal with reselling is for it to be a part-time income, something that I just kind of do for fun and because I enjoy it. My goal for reselling is to make about $1,000 in profit every month by the end of the year. So, so as of right now, I'm only a couple of months in and I'm just reinvesting everything back into the business. And I'll talk a little bit more about how I'm investing in the business into things that are going to be helpful later on. So if you want to hear a little bit more about what I made in June and July and kind of my plans and how I've been doing things, keep watching. So I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Eileen. This is my channel Hustle and Slow where I talk all about making money from home and building multiple streams of income. I think anybody can work from home whether it's full time or part time. We have so many tools accessible to us now and so much information out there. So if you want to start making money from home too or you want to increase your income from home or build multiple streams of income, I have so many resources here on YouTube. Um, so go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more about that. So now I'm going to hop over to the computer. This is going to be kind of a short video. Um, now I'm just going to show you how I did and kind of the numbers and everything for June and July. So before we go over what I actually made, let's go into how much time I spent working because without telling you how much time I'm spending working, I could be spending 40 hours a week making very little money. So it's really helpful to see the work that goes into it before you see how much money I'm making. And I track my time with Toggle. It's totally free. They do have a paid subscription, but I don't use it. I just use the free version. This helps me because I like to track my time and I like to make sure that what I'm doing is worth my time. So um, I don't just do it for reselling, I do it for all of my businesses. If I'm sitting at my computer working or if I'm doing something work related, I track my time. And this is why I know that I spend about 20 to 30 hours a week working, which is a lot less than I used to because I track my time and I know what I spend the most time on and where I can cut things. And if something that's taking me a long time isn't really worth it, I can just cut that out or reduce it or outsource it or whatever. It really gives you a good picture of where you're spending your time. So I highly recommend tracking your time. Um, so this is June. In June, I spent just about 10 hours on reselling. And let's go see how much money I made in June. So we're going to log into Vendu. And this is what I use to cross post my items across eBay, Poshmark, Mercari and Facebook Marketplace. Those are the four platforms that I sell on myself. Um, I do, I am starting to sell things other places, but I will go into that in a minute. Um, so we're just going to go over to analytics and we're going to go and sort it by what I sold in June. So in June, I was gone most of the month. You'll see I had like zero sales for almost the whole month. Um, I was gone for, I think about two weeks, um, just visiting family. And so I didn't really sell anything till the 23rd. So this is what I made in the last week of June, basically. Um, so it was a $206 in rev revenue. And then that was $148 profit. Um, I sold a total of six items. I listed a total of 17 items and my average sale price was $34.41. This is why I love Vendu. This is a new feature in Vendu and I really love it because it can I can clearly see my numbers um, and my average sale price and everything so I can see how my business is doing just at a glance, it's great. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and it shows you some other stuff. My top selling category is clothes, which makes sense because that's mostly what I sell. Um, marketplace revenue and profit so it looks like ebay is making me the most money which makes sense um, mark average sale price by marketplace ebay my average sale price is 39 facebook it's 18 and mercari it's 32 it looks like i didn't sell anything on poshmark in june and then as you can see as i always say ebay is generally my best platform even though it is a pain in the butt compared to the other ones um, i tend to sell more on ebay I think in my video back in May, I actually sold an equal amount across most of the platforms, but I'm really seeing that eBay is the winner here still. So even though it drives me crazy and there's glitches and it's harder to list on and all of that, um, it tends to be worth it. So 
So I actually sell things on consignment too. I don't make a lot of money doing this, but the reason I do this is because A, I wanna take things out of the Goodwill outlet, out of the bins where they might end up in a landfill, because I find so much stuff that may not be worth it to sell for like five or $10 online, but I can take to a consignment store and they'll give me a little bit of money. And I know that I got it out of the bins, I got it out of the landfill and I get a little bit of cash to spend at yard sales or just to have as part of my income. So, um, I track that in my reseller dashboard spreadsheet. I have a video all about the spreadsheet that I use. Um, I have tweaked it a lot because now I use Vendu to do most of my sales analytics, but I still use my spreadsheet for inventory and tracking my cost of goods and stuff like that. So I have this other tab right here on my reseller dashboard spreadsheet. And this is where I kind of keep track of things like consignment, these are all consignment sales. And then this is stuff that was damaged that I purchased at the bins and ended up not selling. And I wanna keep track of the items that I'm not selling and I'm re-donating or I'm throwing out because I report my inventory to taxes and I wanna make sure that's accurate. So I need to know what my beginning inventory and my ending inventory is each year and this helps me keep track. So um, you can see I sold once to the kids consignment and once to the adult consignment place and I made a total of $35 selling 25 items. My cost of goods at the bins is generally 50 cents or so, so I didn't make a lot of money. One good thing to note is that at the Goodwill outlet that I shop at, the more you buy, since it's by the pound, the more you buy, the lower the price per pound. So by buying these things, not only am I saving them from landfill and getting a little bit of money from the consignment store, I'm also lowering my buy cost per pound. So it does help me and my business because I'm paying less for my items. So. That is what I did in June. Now let's look at what I did in July and we can just start with consignment since we're already here. I sold once to the kids consignment and once to the adult consignment. Again, this time I made 26 and 28. So I made $54 for 35 items. Um, I'm kind of still figuring out, the kids consignment place takes pretty much everything that's in good condition and that's kind of current. Um, they just don't take like vintage styles or anything that's super worn or damaged. But the adult consignment, I'm still figuring out what they like. I was able to get more money this time. This is only my second time selling to them. And the first time I got $13 and the second time I got $28. So I am figuring out more what they like. I'm still trying to figure that out and pick out those types of items. Um, and then let's go over to Vendu and let's sort it by July. So in July, I made much more. So I made $573.84 in total revenue and my profit was $407.93. So I sold a total of 15 items. I listed 47, so I listed a lot more than I had been previously listing. Um, and then my average sale price was 38.26. So that's pretty close to what June was as well. And then if we go down again, top selling category is still clothes and shoes. And then you can see all this stuff right here. I don't really look at that, honestly. I just look at number of items sold. And you can see that I sold nine items on eBay, two on Facebook, two on Mercari, and two on Poshmark. So eBay, so I sold six items across these three platforms and nine items on eBay. So again, eBay is the winner here. Um, so it, that's how it tends to be for me. So for, for my total for June and July, I made $869.32, including the consignment stuff. My total profit was $613.65. And that's assuming about 50 cents by cost on each of the consignment items that I sold. Obviously June didn't do too well because I wasn't really here, but July did really well. And I'm hoping that August is similar. Um, August is already starting out really well, but I do want to talk a little bit about my plans and what I'm doing. So um, I am talking about what I'm making on reselling platforms, selling myself, but I am doing things a lot differently and I'm not going to see that money until later. So a few things that I'm utilizing to make things easier on me so that I can source, which is what I like to do, and not have to list so much stuff. I'm utilizing two different platforms, and one of them is ThreadUp, which I've talked a little bit about, where you kind of send your items and they put them on their website. Um, so I do have ThreadUp items on their way to ThreadUp. And then I'm also utilizing a new app called Flip, which I have had in my description box below, but I haven't really talked about it. So basically what happens with Flip is people will go on there like myself or like someone who is maybe selling stuff on their own and they're not a reseller and they will put up lots of stuff. They will just show, post a picture, the brand, the size and any flaws. And then those kind of go up for bid, I guess. And resellers who want to sell those items on consignment or do a total buyout and just buy the items will put their bids in. I don't know if it's called bids, but something like that. So I have three lots on consignment to three different sellers through Flip. 
And so when the items sell, they take their cut and they give me my cut and then I will get the money. Um, this does take a little bit longer, but and it does and I don't make as much money, but I don't have to sell the items myself and I'm trying to streamline and be as hands off as possible with this. So I'm excited to see how this goes. I have three lots there. It's been about a month, month and a half so or so. Um, so we'll see how it goes and if it's something that I continue to do. And then I've also been sending stuff to ThreadUp. I've only sent one box so far, but I do have 10 labels. I know if you're if you're familiar with ThreadUp, sometimes it can be hard to get labels. So I got really lucky and I was able to get 10 labels printed out. So my plan is to send one 30 pound box, which is the maximum weight for the ThreadUp labels. So I'm gonna send one 30 pound box per month is my goal. And that way I will have items selling that way as well. Um, these are just my ways of being able to buy a lot of inventory and sell a lot of inventory and maybe not make as much money, but I'm still making money and I'm not having to spend a lot of time reselling. So as of right now, I'm probably only listing and selling myself maybe 10 to 20% of the items that I buy. The rest go to consignment, thread up or flip. And that is how I'm doing things right now. So I am spending a little bit more money upfront sourcing because I'm sending those items out that aren't going to sell for a while and I don't have control over those. Like with thread up, usually there's like an eight to 12 week wait before they even process the box. So this is one of those things where I'm kind of front loading all the work and then hopefully in the future I can um, get the benefits of that. Another thing that is in process is I'm going to be working with a fulfillment company to take a lot of my inventory. As you could probably tell by the fact that I was gone for a lot of June, we like to travel and the one thing that I really hate about reselling is that when you're not home, you can't ship items. So unless I have someone working for me, which I don't and I don't want to, um, I can't resell while I'm gone. And we do have lots of trips coming up. I am going to start working with a fulfillment company to send my items over to them and they will ship stuff for me. So I will basically be sourcing items and then sending them out to different places, thread up, flip, and the fulfillment company. Um, I only have to list the items that are being sold myself and shipped by the fulfillment company. And then I can go on vacation and not have to worry about that kind of stuff. I can work on my own businesses and not have to worry about shipping and it just takes a lot off of my hands. Obviously, if you're a new reseller and you wanna make every single cent that you can, this is not the way you want to run your business, but I'm at a point where I want to have a reselling business but not have to um, do all of the work myself and put hours and hours into it. I wanna be as efficient and optimized as possible. So that's why I'm doing it that way. I will talk a little bit more about Flip and thread up and the fulfillment company um, in later videos when I have a little bit more experience with it. But I'm super excited to be working with all of those companies and hopefully I can get to the point where I'm making about $1,000 profit per month and all I'm really doing is sourcing and listing a couple of things a month. So that is really the goal for me. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you like videos like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that you like them. It also really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. If you wanna check out Flip or ThreadUp or Vendu, I will have links to them down below. So make sure you check the links down below so you can go and check those out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.